So, hello and welcome to this new Guy Sky tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about how to install Guy Sky specifically on Windows and Mac OS systems. So, I am not a Windows or Mac OS uh, user myself, so please bear with me. I'll try to be as thorough as possible, but uh, sometimes I may do weird stuff because I'm not used to any of these uh, systems. So, let's start with Windows. Um, first, we bring up uh, the browser and look up Guy Sky and your search engine of preference. Here is the main web page. We go to the download um, section and I just, uh, I'll just go ahead and grab the Windows installer here. I'll save it in the desktop and I'll also get the, the archive file because I want to show how to use GuySky without installing. Okay, so now I think it's, uh, it's already downloaded. Here we have uh, our two uh, packages. First, I'll show how to install a regular um, release. So just uh, go ahead and double click on this um, icon. This will bring up the installation um, program. Uh, it asks for some user privileges or something. Just grant it. And here is the main installation window. So just next, here we choose where we want to install it. So for this uh, installation, I will just create a new folder. Um, how do I do that here? Okay, um, best. So I'll install it in uh, the test guy sky and just click next. That's fine. Create um, start menu, shortcuts, and whatever you want to, to create. Okay, it's done. So now I guess if we go to a start mm -hmm. menu, we should have here two new icons. One is for the regular Gaia Sky, the other is for the Gaia Sky VR, so virtual reality, um, the virtual reality version of Gaia Sky. If you have a headset, a VR headset, which is supported by Open uh, Open VR, so it, it can talk to the Open VR API, then you may want to. Um, Explore this. Uh, there's ample um, documentation on the documentation web pages of Gaia Sky, but today we're gonna just focus on this one here, which is the regular desktop um, program. So um, let's just go ahead and click on this. And the main window of Gaia Sky uh, launches. Here we see that um, we have no um, data at all. So the first thing I want to do, because my C partition here in the SSD is so small for Windows, I will just change this to somewhere else, probably here in the test uh, folder, and I'll try to create a new subfolder in here, so how do I do that? So let's see, um, let's bring out the file explorer. Um, now, here, and create a new folder. I'll call it Gaia Sky Data. Okay, so now we select this folder, and we check. So here we are given an option to download data. So the default data pack you need always because it's uh, the very basic uh, data which is needed for the sky to run. And you can uh, additionally add uh, high resolution textures. Um, if you've got a nice graphics card uh, that can handle like uh, 2K, 4K, 8K um, resolution textures, uh, you may uh, want to go ahead and download these also. Here you've got uh, Gaia catalogs. Uh, right now, all of them are uh, based on Gaia Data Release 2, but um, very soon we're, we're going to have also EDR3, so Early uh, Data Release 3. Uh, this is um, coming out early um, December. I think that the 3rd of December is uh, the release date. So on the 3rd of December, uh, we will release a new version of Gaia Sky along with uh, new catalogs. So here, uh, you can download as many as you want, but it is very important that you only load one. And uh, you will see that if I download two here, 
uh, when I click on start next um, I will be given the option to select which catalog I want to load and in that step uh, you should only get uh, or select one of these because um, these are different selections of the same base catalog so if you select more than one you will have conflicts or naming conflicts so you, you have um, you will have probably um, repeated stars and then you can just uh, get uh, other stuff like nearby galaxies, uh, nebulae, SDSS, uh, Milky Way star clusters, uh, and some isosurface meshes. So for this um, for this tutorial, I will just get uh, the default data, the high resolution textures, and then um, the very small and the small um, DR2 catalogs. So let's just go ahead and start the download. You will see that. Uh, it's got like four files to download now. It's on the, on the, the second one already, which are the high resolution textures. Download speed is quite high because, um, yeah, it sits in the same network. Uh, so the server which contains these files is in the same network as my um, um, computer here. <laughs> Okay, so looks like the download is finished. As you can see, we have the data pack, uh, the default data is up to date, the high resolution textures are up to date, and then the two catalogs are up to date. So this means that uh, they are found in this path. And we can just uh, start Sky Sky. problem now is that um, we've got two catalogs loaded so um, since this is Skype version 2.3.1 um, it still does not check for multiple catalogs or cats of the same catalog but uh, with the next release it will check and prompt you to um, just select one so here we can see we've got the very small and the small. I'll just go ahead and remove the very small. And now it should be fine. Maybe we can adjust a bit uh, some parameters. So I'll just make this a bit larger. Or um, I'll increase because I've got a 4K um, monitor here, so I need to scale the user interface. Okay. And maybe adjust the um, visual appearance of stars. So, um, just like that, Sky Sky is installed and running on our uh, Windows machine. Uh, next up, I want to show you how to use the guitar archive. Uh, this does not require an installation, so I'll just open this. Uh, it's got the tar inside and here we've got the folder with the, with Sky Sky. So what I'll do is uh, I'll create a new... Uh, I don't need to... So I'll just grab this and uh, unpack it here. Okay, so it finished. Now... Um, you can... I'm not sure if you can run this directly no. okay so what we need to do here is we need to get a um, terminal or um, command line PowerShell um, whatever it's called in Windows and we need to navigate to um, the folder where we just extracted in the tar archive so uh, let's see if I can do this the right way and we are at E test I ask, I not this one, this one. Okay, so here we can see that we've got the CMD um, script, which is just to run Sky. And what we can do is we can just try. Um, by the way, if you're using this method, uh, you need Java pre-installed. So you should go to OpenJDK and download uh, the um, Java runtime environment and make sure that it's um, got the Java uh, command so the virtual machine is on your path. Um, I'm not sure how to do that on Windows, but I'm sure you can find several guides on the internet. So um, the bottom line is that you should 
um, get this output when you run Java minus V or minus version. Yeah, so uh, you need Java 11 at least. And uh, when you run Java minus version on your terminal, you should see something like this. This means that Java is uh, correctly installed and um, it, uh, your terminal uh, can look located. So next, uh, we just run uh, gaiasky.cmd and just like that, a new window should pop up. And since I just did the, um, since I just did the um, installation for the base package, that all the all of the configuration files and catalogs are already uh, in place. So here, as you can see, it. Uh, says let's select one or more of these available catalogs to load. Usually only one Gaia catalog should be selected that started. So as you can see the second time we um, we launched Gaia Sky, it already tells us that we need to select just one. So just start and it should uh, be up in a minute. So here the nice thing is that you can always see uh, the logs as they are printed out. Yeah, so here is Gaia Sky, and just like that, you can just use it. So we are here on macOS. Um, this is an old version of macOS because this laptop is quite old, and that's the, the only one we have for testing purposes. So I hope that it's uh, it's all right. I don't think the process would change much with newer versions. So. Uh, what we need to do now is um, navigate to the Gaia Sky um, website and uh, download the package. So here we've got the DMG uh, package for macOS. Let's see how long this takes. Um, we could also get the tar uh, archive file uh, so that we can run Gaia Sky without installing or copying to the application folder or anything just by um, unpacking or unzipping this uh, into any folder and then um, navigating with the terminal to the to this folder and running a script. So our downloads are finished. Let's now um, check them out. Uh, they should be in downloads folder here is this one and this one I'll just go ahead and remove this this and this so. and what I'll do now is just double click on this uh, to mount it so the DMG will get mounted now as you can see it's mounted here and now you would um, with a regular Mac uh, program, you would just copy this into your applications folder. What we will do here is just run, because run it by double-clicking on it, because this is an installer, actually. So it says here that uh, there's a security problem because the um, application is not signed. So what we can do now is... Um, Go to System Preferences and now we should go to, um, where is it, Privacy and Security and here we see that uh, it says Sky Sky was blocked and let's click on Open anyway. And just like that, we can open it. So we can go ahead and close this. And now the installer should run. Yeah. So we'll just install it in uh, applications, in the applications folder. And we just need to wait through the installation now until all, all the files are copied. <laughs> okay, it's finished, so we can close this. 
we can close this, we can unmount this already and now if we go to the applications uh, folder we should see um, we should see Gaia Sky, it's here so uh, typically just by double clicking on this Gaia Sky should start without problems let's see if it does and it should prompt us to uh, download some data so here it is I'll get the default date and a very small uh, Gaia catalog. Uh, there was an error in the Windows um, tutorial. Uh, I said that if you select two, you would uh, get prompted uh, next to you know, select. So if you download two catalogs, you would, you would get prompted after this window with another window um, allowing you to select which, which of the catalogs you want to, um, to download. But that's not true for the current version. This is a bug and I will fix it uh, for the next one. So um, right now I'll just download the default uh, data package and a very small catalog of Gaia DR2. So the catalog is downloaded. Uh, in the end I had to get uh, the Pibarcus catalog only because the um, DR2 very small catalog was um, failing due to lack of uh, disk space. So. Uh, we will only have the base uh, data package and the Hibarcos uh, new reduction. So let's start and here we can select the catalog and start and just like this guys guys should just start and uh, we should uh, be able to use it normally. So here it is, uh, it's a bit slow because this is a very old laptop and desolation is uh, active by default so what I'll do is I'll try to deactivate it by clicking on P to bring up the preferences and here I'll just uh, select none for elevation representation and as you can see now it's, uh, it's much faster um, the graphics card on this laptop um, is not uh, optimized for desolation okay so uh, now guys guy is already um, up uh, what we can do is uh, close it and I'll show you guys how to run the R archive so next up we'll try to run Gaia Sky using the downloaded um, tar GZ packet. So what we'll do is we'll just open a terminal here, navigate to the downloads folder and here we've got our package. It's the uh, tar, so um, let's go ahead and unpack it. Unpack it here, and now it's. Uh, let's uh, change uh, the directory. So usually, what you would uh, li like to do is to run this script, which is already executable, as you can see here. Uh, but this script is optimized for the other version of um, Gaia Sky, so the one which you installed using the DMG package. So I'll just um, modify something in here because uh, the, the default uh, Java version that I have installed on this Mac is 8 and I need at least 11, so I'll need to modify up the path in the script. So I'll just use Vim to edit this and here Uh, I'll input um, my home folder downloads JDK fourteen, which I just downloaded. I think that's the path. 
save this and run run it so as you can see now guys Sky is already running using the downloaded package um, I think that's uh, the end of the tutorial today um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye